Hey everyone, it's Jake here, back with another video. So, as I mentioned last night, I would do a review video and a tutorial video on the D Persian DX12 mixer. I'm going to put the review and the tutorial in the same video, just so that way it's all in one video, so you don't have to go to two separate videos uh, for the review and tutorial. So I'm going to swap the camera around, and I'll show you... Um, I'll show you on the channel paths and what each knob and fader does. So let's get into the video. Alright, so here's the mixer. Um, so we're going to start up here. So as you can see, each channel has a mic input. And there's 12 channels. So there's the, there they are, they're all labeled down there. Um, then below the mic inputs, you have quarter inch inputs for you know guitars, basses, keyboards, drums, and stuff of that nature. Um, over here you can see you have XLR main outs and it looks like quarter inch main outs too. I would recommend using the XLR outs though, they sound a lot better. Um, so yeah, and then you've got your headphone output right there you got your aux synth for stage monitor you got the effects synth for an external effects processor and then your effects return as well and then you got your control room outputs over there and then you got like a output to put to hook up a two track recorder to it or a four track and then you got your tape input so that's all the inputs and then we're going to go down one of the channel paths so I can tell you what each knob does. So the red knobs are your gain. So you're going to be able to add more volume to whatever instrument or device you're using in that channel. Below the gain knob is your high frequency. So that's going to be for your equalization for the uh, high ends of your music. <coughs> And then below that is your mid frequency. So that's going to be for the mid sounds of your uh, music, whatever you're putting through the channel. And then below that's your low frequency, so that's going to be your bass. That's going to be um, for the low ends of your music. And then on most mixers, the stage monitor knobs and the effects knobs are the same knob. But this one, the separate knobs. So the blue knobs all your uh, stage monitor knobs so that's going to be where you're going to send the sound to the stage for the band to hear and then below that the orange knobs that's your effects knobs so I imagine because I don't see two sets of effects knobs I imagine that the orange knobs are both external effects processing and, and um, internal effects processing so um, I'm not quite sure about that yet. I'll have to plug an external processor in and test that out. And then below that is your panning knob. So you're going to be able to pan uh, the sound either to the left speaker, to the right speaker, or in the center for both. So that's all the knobs. And then below that, you got your faders for each channel. So... Um, Yep, here's fader. It's got a pretty cool slide to it. It's smooth, so it's pretty cool. Um, you got a PFL button right there, so I imagine that stands for pre-fader level, so you can um, listen to how it so it'll sound through headphones. And then over here is your main effects fader, so that's going to be your main effects fader to get your effects. Um, from the internal processor or even maybe even the external effects processor. I'll have to test that out. Uh, the effects fader has its own panning knob and then as you can see it looks like it only has two effects. The um, It's got delay and repetition. And then the effects knob above the delay knob that's the main effects knob. I don't know why it has a main effects knob and a main effects fader but it does so yeah and then the blue light next to the main effects fader I imagine that is the main 
stage monitor knob so that's going to be your main knob for sending it to the stage and then there's a tape input knob right there and then below that's your headphone knob so that is probably going to be for the control room as well and then this mixer has two faders for your main so you got your uh, left fader right here for your left speakers and then your right fader for your right speakers so that's pretty cool and then here's your meter right here so you can see how loud how much power is going into the mixer and uh, there's the power button the power button's blue the PFL is red and I imagine the AFL stands for after fader level so I'm not quite sure what that does yet I'm still learning how to use this um, you can you can record with this there's a USB right there I tried using my tablet to record with it and it worked but I would not recommend recording with this I just use my 16 channel banjo to record so I have this hooked up to my 16 channel um, there's your mp3 level right there this does have bluetooth so uh, if you hit the menu button you got different options there's bluetooth, there's uh, msc there's record and there's pc so I'm not sure what pc would be for but uh, you can also record with this as I mentioned before and then the mp3 level knob is also going to control your bluetooth volume the uh, and then you got your back button your up button down button forward button play button pause button enter button all those buttons will work for bluetooth and I imagine that's the mp3 port too so yeah um the two main to channel 11 and 12 I imagine that's going to send this to these or these to that I'm not quite sure but uh, I just got this mixer yesterday so I'm still learning about it and uh, yeah so that's basically the tutorial part of this video if you saw something that I missed let me know in the comments below and I will uh, get back to you on that but that pretty much covers the tutorial part now to the review we're going to get into the review now I've used this mixer yesterday and I used it today it's a pretty cool mixer I mean with the XOR outs for the mains it, it, it gives me the best sound ever um, the effects I thought it would have more effects than just two, but to me that's not going to bug me because my 16 channel over here has like 16 different effects on it, so I'm cool with that. And then I got my external processor right there, so that gives me more effects. So it's fine if this one only has two effects, I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, the Bluetooth works good, it sounds awesome. Um, I like the fact that it has its own controls so if your phone is like on your bed or somewhere on the other side of the room and you're by your mixer you can just hit play pause forward back up down enter right there on the mixer um, so yeah it's pretty cool it does not have stereo inputs like this one over here does but uh, it, it still works pretty cool so I'm, I'm cool with the mono channels and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool mixer I got it for a hundred and thirty four bucks on Amazon and uh, yeah I wasn't even supposed to get this until today but it came yesterday so it's pretty cool alright so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below let me know what you think or if you have questions about it I will get back to you right away share this video with your friends and family and if you would like to donate